Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite YouTubers, the ones that have inspired me the most, and there are two. There's Pyrocynical and Breezy. First I'm going to talk about Pyrocynical, because he's the one who's influenced my content the most. If you don't, if you don't cut my, if you don't cut my fucking Gmod videos. Amanda! Okay. <laughs> But yes, with Pyrocynical, if you couldn't tell, I've kind of adopted his, um, uh... <laughs> autism. Well, you know what? You can fuck off then! But yeah, I've been watching Pyrocynical for a long time. Dating back to even old, old videos of his. When he didn't have a face cam. Like, the Little T video. Yeah, I've been watching him for that long. But you see, the problem is, Little T hasn't really presented himself to anyone, because all he's made me want to do is find out the street he lives on, so I can order it to be firebombed. At first, I honestly wasn't quite interested in Pyrocynical's face cam videos, as my small negative 4 IQ brain at the time couldn't comprehend why he wouldn't show gameplay. Don't stop! Don't stop! Please! I beg you! But I slowly grew to enjoy them, especially with the more effort and memes he stuffed into them. I was laugh, voice, and channel just got engraved into my psyche before too long. It was a really entertaining period back then, going through all his videos just because I was enjoying them so much. After I started my channel, I initially wanted to be like Grady Andre, but found that Pyrocynical's style of content and humor was significantly more fun to pull off. Not only that, the memes he used were relevant to me as well. Dark Souls, JoJo, Counter-Strike, Metal Gear, all of the main memes he utilized I greatly enjoyed because I had a connection to the mediums themselves. Another thing that resonated with me were his cosplays. Yes, Pyrocynical has dressed as Samus, Ryuko, and others. Each cosplay he's done is fantastic. I'm not sure if he's trans, bi, or whatever, but he's massively filled my confidence in my journey to become a woman just by doing those cosplays. I'd love to one day do a video with him or play a game with him, as he seems like a genuinely fun and entertaining person to hang out with. Hopefully someday, but until then, I will continue to wish him the best of luck on his YouTube videos. I adore his long, in-depth analysis videos the most, as they help me discover amazing games like Lost in Vivo. This bit will be much longer than the Pyrus section, but that's for a good reason. Breezy's influence on my life is significantly different from Pyro's, but still just as large, if not larger. First, I got to tell a little bit of a story though, as it's relevant to why Breezy has been so important to me over the last few years. Back during the great beyond, the distant year of 2015, a whole last five years ago, I was in 8th grade. My friends Jesse and Joe introduced me to this cool new YouTuber who did Gmod videos. I was stoked because I loved Gmod to bits as a kid. Still do, but back then I was in a YouTube renaissance of discovery, finding Markiplier and such of course too. Jesse personally introduced me to Bree's channel back then. When I watched it, I was always so entertained by it because I'd always laugh and laugh for hours just binging the videos. Whenever a new one would come out, we'd talk about it in science class and quote our favorite parts. But one day in 2016, I heard that Bree was trans. I was shocked and confused. I didn't understand it at the time, and as I noticed Bree's content change, I stopped watching it. I was raised from a very Christian, very conservative household, both of which aren't important to me anymore. But back then, it was engraved into my skull, so I thought it was odd, wrong even, which led me to repressing my own internal desires to be a woman, as ever since I was a kid, I'd always felt jealous of women and always wanted to be one. As the years continued on, I moved from Illinois to Michigan, and my life kind of tanked, as everyone I knew and loved was hundreds of miles away from me, and I was all alone. I entered a little bit of a dark age, freshman and sophomore year, pretty much nothing but pure suffering mentally. My depression worsened and my anxiety went through the roof, but as I entered junior year I began to wonder, what if I just wanted to be a trap? Because around that time, Astolfo was becoming really popular online, and I was attracted to it, as well as projecting myself into it, wanting to be cute and girly. But 
I still was like, nah, nah, I can't be trans, there's no such thing. So I continued to be in denial. For a while, I even thought I was gender fluid. Then I slowly started looking through my subscriptions one day, and there she was, Miss Breezy's channel. I started watching and watching. With each new video, I felt myself lighten up a bit. Every single time I saw her amazing transition, heard her voice, and saw her interact happily with her friends, I slowly began to realize what I was thinking all the years behind me was wrong. Transsexuality was then real to me. And to my girlfriend, I came out. The rest is kind of history. I continued watching her and still watch her to this day because she's a massive, massive inspiration and influence to me. In more ways than one. She's such a nice person. Someone who I hope I can one day be friends with. But with my channel being so small and unnoticeable, I doubt I'll ever be noticed. But I can continue to hope for that one day that I'll be able to talk to her and personally thank her for all the inspiration she's given me. Hyra Cynical and Breezy, you're both my heroes. You guys have influenced my life a lot, and your videos have helped me through some pretty tough times. And even if I don't get to meet you guys, I still hope you get this. Thank you. You guys are amazing.